Hi, this is Drew with Finale. One of the questions we get the most is how to move effects from Finale Business into Finale 3D. Today I'm really excited to announce that we've made some major improvements in reverse engineering Finale Business simulations. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the steps for migrating your effects from Finale Business to Finale 3D. To get started, the first step is to use Finale Business to create a show with one of each effect that we like to call Noah's Ark. Open a blank show in Finale Business and change the show duration to 3600 seconds or one hour. Use the file menu to open the inventory view. In this example, I'll be using the My Fireworks inventory. To create the Noah's Ark, I'll add one of each item from My Fireworks to the show. Next, I need to spread out all the items on the timeline. I'll use Select All from the Edit menu, and then I'll use Spread Out Evenly with an interval of 40 seconds to make sure that there's no overlap between any items. That's it, I'm all set. All I need to do now is save the show to create my Noah's Ark HBS file. The next step is to import the Noah's Ark HBS file into Finale 3D. I'll go to File, Import, Import Effects from HBS file, and then Import into My Effects. This will allow me to import each of the My Fireworks items from Finale Business into the My Effects library in Finale 3D. Select the HBS file to import, and then click Continue to import each of the items into Finale 3D. When the import completes, the items will be listed in the Effects window in the upper right-hand portion of the screen. To preview an effect, mouse over the small white bar at the top of the effect icon. Click in the upper left-hand corner of the preview to enlarge. Let's see how an item looks in the show. I'll first select the firing position and then click the effect icon to add the item. I'm not using the effect palette so I'll hide this for now. When I preview the simulation, I notice that the effect looks very large. I also notice that I only have blue, unlike the description which is red, white, and blue. To improve the effect, I'll right click on the line of script and do select this effect in effects window. Now I'll right click in the effects window and do edit to adjust the simulation VDL. I see the size is listed as 3 inch, so I'll change it to 2 inch to make it correct. Then I'll add the words red and white before blue peony to make the mixed colors. When I save the effect, Finale lets me know the changes have been made to the simulation. I'll click OK and then click Yes to update the item in the show. This looks much better. The size is now accurate and we have all three colors, red, white, and blue. This pattern can be followed to preview the remainder of the effects and update as needed. To save my effects, go to the blue drop-down list and select Sync with Network. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos with a deeper dive on each step of the migration process.